and there's like a velcro. <gasps> I got myself a choker. Hi sis, welcome to Fab Chic Mothers. How are you doing? My name is Doris and if you are new here, this is Fab Chic Mothers. And here we talk everything fashion, how to look fabulous, feminine, chic, sophisticated, edgy, frugal, on the budget of course, while being modest at the same time. So welcome or welcome back. So for today's video, we have a haul. Remember I told you, your sis been shopping? <laughs> And I feel like I am really coming into my cowboy boots, cowgirl boots era. I have literally scored so many of them and I'm just falling in love with them. Of course, I love boots to begin with. I have a lot of like tall boots, combat boots and whatnot. But then I've been seeing you know, a lot of nice looks, very edgy with cowboy boots online. I'm like, huh, let me explore this in multiple colors. So... There you go. I have um, five pairs of boots. I think I'm going to do it I can think. Um, yeah, I have five pairs of boots. And um, yeah, I think it should be fun. Of course, I'm going to style it with some summer dresses um, because it's summertime right now and they go perfect. You can still wear them during summer. So before I dive into it, this is my look for today. Very simple. Um, I mean, simple for me. <laughs> So I'm wearing a long max dress, which I love. I bought it from like Boohoo back in the day, like maybe five years ago. I have those in so many different colors and I love them. I think they're perfect. I'm also wearing an Abaya, like kimono dusters, um, duster piece that I love. I think I bought this one from, I think I thrifted it actually. I love the motif and the pink lining here. I think it's just gorgeous. It really adds that air, that majestic air, you know, that kimono flair that I love. And then I'm wearing a body jewelry. I think that's how they're called. And I love, love this. Like if you don't want to wear necessarily like a necklace or something, something else, something ordinary i'll say it's beautiful i actually wore this um on this channel with my white button down um shirt look when i was doing the denim looks and i love it so you know to show you how versatile you can be with such a piece it's such a statement piece it's a jewelry it's big it's like a breastplate kind of thing so i love it you can wear this on your dresses as well and i believe i bought this from amazon i think there are plenty there so different colors and shapes so i think it's gorgeous so i think that's about it for today now let's move on with your boots the first pair of shoes that i'm going to show you i know i know you've been checking this one out shop akira um they carry this brand called azalea wang I think it's a it's an Asian brand and sis they have such fun fashion fabulous boots um, They may not necessarily be in leather, but they're really good Sequiny like we love it. it if that's a word sequiny, you know what I mean, right? Um, we've sequined studded I mean diamond -y, really like blinged up and i'm all for it vivid colors and the quality is really really not bad at all so they had a sale recently i believe since um for july 4th of july and it's still going on i'm going to insert the links of all of the boots down below so you can check it out and the prices as well so let's start with the first pair oh let's keep this for last let's keep this for last no 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 let's keep this this is too fabulous we'll keep this for last the first pair is this one. When I tell you when I saw this, I gasped. I was like, talk about being blinged out. Talk about just standing out. This is gorgeous. I mean, the rhinestones, there's no available place or space on this pair of boots. It's like, it's taken. It is taken. Anything that anywhere they could have added rhinestone they did and i am so glad they did it's a beautiful pair i love a pointy toe i usually wear a size nine um for boots and yeah both fit perfectly the pull on um yeah just beautiful i love also this band here at the ankle with a buckle here i mean can you be even more extra 
I love this. I mean, you don't even have to do much with your outfits if you wear such a pair of boots. I love this shape also for boots. I think it's so edgy, very Western, so chic. Love that with fashion evolving. You know, we just don't have cowboy boots like ragged or shabby chic or just made for like jeans and hats and, you know, t-shirts. You can really be dressed up in a pair of boots and since you can wear this with your dresses you can wear this with your shorts you can wear this with some skirt and it is gorgeous oh my goodness and i actually love that the buckle here looks like a horseshoe as well i mean such such a nice nice pair and of course you're not going to take such a pair to go i don't know work the field or whatever you know when you wear this is to stand out and if you wear this at night you're going to be scintillating the whole night. This is gorgeous. And that's where sometimes I don't think that nobody should wear skinny jeans anymore. Because if you are into skinny jeans or leggings, um, you can still tuck, you know, you can still wear those boots. And it really shows, you know, the shape of the top of it as well. I'm very satisfied with it. It's actually very soft. It's not leather. I know I mentioned that before. And because it's soft, it's not rigid, it definitely fits. You want to be comfortable with such a pair because for pull-on boots, you have to be able to get your legs out. Since you got to. <laughs> so I love that when, you know, there's a little bit more room, you also need to have more room for the socks as well. Um, the second so pair perfect. is going to be... Damn. <laughs> yes. Yes, they did it again. Size 9. Let me park this one right here so you can contemplate it while I'm talking. <sighs> this is gorgeous. This, I like the other one, but I feel like this is a work of art. This is more subtle. It's very chic, very classy. I love also how it's playing on the different like darker colors um, with a black and the forest green. This is like a very deep dark green um, that they actually, yeah, they actually added this, what's that sequence? They have a tiny sequence part and the shimmer, you know, against the light. I like that it's got the, um, the zipper on the side, very easy to wear and remove, I mean, Look at the shape, look at the pointiness, look at the shape of the heel. And those are very comfortable. And I love the height of these heels, you know, because, you know, it's just comfortable. And you still feel elevated, you still get that oomph, that extra height, pep in your step, but it's very chic. You can wear this everywhere. It's not too flashy. I love this when I saw it. It's on sale. And they sell out so fast, sis. I mean, it is what it is because... I guess a lot of people were onto them before about this brand. I've seen a lot of influencers wearing their boots, and I'm like, those are so funky. Like, so sh where do they get those boots? Well, yeah, Azalea Wang. And actually, doing my research, um, I saw that I think it was Nordstrom or Dillard. They actually carry this brand as well, if you go online and you look it up um, in their inventory. So, um, this is gorgeous. I love this. I love this. It's very Western because you can see also the motif, the patterns. And I have one like that from Zara, which I um, I bought maybe two years ago. And yeah, I love this. So very Western, very like, you know, New Mexico. I don't have a typical like um, black boots like this, like cowboy boots. I don't think I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do, but sis, let me tell you, this is way different. And this is more rigid than the other one. So this is not real leather, but it's a bit more like sturdy and more structured. So I love this as well, you know, like it stands by itself. You know, I don't have to um, stuff it or anything with anything. So it's perfect. The zipper works perfectly, very smooth. Yeah, and you look inside, I mean, 
this can be styled with so many different things i love it of course with my dresses and things like that you can definitely wear over the summer don't think that you cannot wear your combat boots or your cowboy boots and stuff like that during the summer boots are not just made for the winter of course they're convenient they keep you warm um during the winter but during the summer you can still work it i see um i live in florida sis <laughs> so honestly our summer is too <laughs> it's too warm <laughs> it's too hot you know but i see a lot of girls even like you know spotting this with her uh, shorts and stuff like that i think it's so cute of boots that i wanted to show you this i bought from urban outfitters and i've come to actually check out urban outfitters i think since probably a year ago um over the holiday sales i was like huh because i think they were coming onto my instagram feed and i'm like they have good stuff over there let me check it out and i love this site now and i saw this cobalt blue pair of um of boots and I fell in love. This is genuine leather. So it's going to last me for a lifetime. It is so gorgeous. I mean, look at the toe. I love how they did like a square toe here um, with a sole. And then a pointy toe um, with a boot itself. I mean, different dimensions. I love that. It's very edgy. I'm all for it. And remember when I, when I was talking about the shape of the heel. I think it's very cool. And this height, I'm telling you, this height is very optimal for me. Like as far as um, cowboy boots are concerned. Those, the, <laughs> these pairs is. This pair, you need no introduction. This cobalt blue, it's so rare even to find boots that color. That's what I think struck me when I saw the ad. I'm like, this is so rare. I've got to check it out. And I bought it. So I love how like it's the top is very high. The shaft is high. But I believe when I try this on, usually you have to be careful. If you're buying such shoes online, if you don't have like smaller ankles, you really have to watch out. Try to read the reviews. Or if you can go at the store, the, the brick and mortar store, you can, the brick and mortar store, you, more, more. <laughs> the brick and mortar store um you can check it out and try it on yourself first because for boots like this you know it's very straightforward you can tell that the opening is a bit wider but then for those you can tell it's kind of narrow here if you have big calves um or or bigger ankles so you have to be careful so for me it fits i have smaller ankles so it fits really good and i like it when it's actually snag i feel more secured in the shoes actually thing is i forgot to mention that i'll include the link um definitely down below but this is a bit kind of narrow still it's a tiny bit smaller although it is size 40 made in spain so i think it's size nine right yeah size nine 40 is the European size, um, so size 9 US. But since it's tiny, it's a little bit smaller. Like, I, I mean, I can still wear it, that's fine, but compared to the comfort level of the other boots, it's different. And the thing is, size 9, they don't have any higher sizes. They ran out of the other sizes, so I could not size up. I could not return it neither for a larger pair. However, this is supposed to be wide, the wide size. So it says like W9, W8, and usually our medium, like M8, M9, M10. And I'm like, if this is wide, I'll hate to see what medium looks like because it's a bit snag. I have to be honest with you. So if you are interested, just beware that this is um, size wide. I have decently smaller feet so i'm like i hope my feet are not going to be floating in them but actually because i guess of a pointy toe the leather is a bit more rigid i'm not sure what happened but the sizing is a bit off for a wide pair of shoes this is actually narrow so keep that in mind um so yeah so technically i think maybe size nine and a half 
or even thin because you have to wear socks with that i'm keeping both sis i'm going to extend them just a smidge you know they still fit and you can tell there's a little bit of shine to it which i'm all for it it looks kind of like worn in a little bit although it's brand new so you can tell from just me trying on and um filming and shooting with it taking pictures it looks a bit more I guess fold it up here so because it's leather so I love this look for boots so um this is perfect I am so loving this beautiful now you should have seen you should have seen this pair of boots that I bought from um, Zara I showed it during last video and I actually love 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 this pair of boots it came out at the beginning of this year I think maybe like four months ago and a lot of influencers were like go get it sis go get it um they were really going out of stock very fast and i was thinking it was about 460 450 something like this anyways and i'm like it's not even real leather i don't want to pull the trigger for a you know a pair of boots that is over $100 and it's not really leather anyway. So I can wait on that. I can wait on the sales. And right now, you know, they're part of the sales um, going on on the Zara's website and in the stores. However, sis, um, they just sold out. Um, people return their purchases. Oh, here, let me see the price. Yeah, $149. That's what I was thinking. Okay. So people return their purchases, of course, and that's how when they get restocked you can you know grab them real fast and check out but i ordered size i think that was size eight and that was my mistake because only size eight came back into stock and i'm like for eight i mean i can squeeze my feet into it bad move bad bad move the thing is i forgot that for taller boots like this with no zipper on the side this is just a pair of like pull-on boots you have to wear a bigger size since when i try this on i'm actually scared to even i'm actually scared to even try this on anymore even with socks on it took me oh my gosh it took me like 15 minutes to try to remove those 15 minutes I kid you know on my own it was painful because you have to wiggle your toes you have to I was sweating I had to drink water there was nobody at the time I think the kids were out there were there was nobody at the time to help me now when I was shooting this I had to literally wake my my son one of my sons I'm like are you awake mommy needs help and i was limping with it i had to sit down and he oh my gosh he you know he had to forcibly um pull it out and i was like i don't want to go through that you know this is definitely smaller it's not coming out and if you sweat inside while you try says mm -mm, mm -mm. so this is size eight this is 30 39 i was really praying and hoping the nine will come back in stock of a 10 even at this point um but it's not i've been refreshing that page over and over again so i saw another version on shop akira i'll insert a picture it's very very um similar and also it's a very cute version as well this is not real leather the other one is not real leather so i mean and it's cheaper over there so i ordered it actually so mm. At first i'm like i love this one so much i can still keep it in worry but no sis i'm going to sell this one on my poshmark um if you if you're interested let me know um i don't think i ever shared that i have poshmark yeah i sell sometimes on poshmark so yeah i'm going to put on my poshmark so that means that you need to wear a size down you know if you want to fit into those and be comfortable removing them as well so if you were size 7 US you'll be fine with those because was this is size 8 <sighs> so this is the long story about these boots now style wise I love this I love this really really um they had like a black version which I am really not fond of it's just you know black with the same um cactus um motif and um i just don't like it but again you see how the um the heel is slanted here it's just perfect it's so beautiful 
and of course much more like cutouts and motif and I love the different colors that's very used for that I think it's a really nice pair and this can go with so many different outfits because of the, all of the different colors you can pull from and uh, I really really love it unfortunately the boot doesn't like me so <laughs> it's gonna have to go so the good thing is I kept the um the tag that's why I was like until I'm sure I'm going to keep the tag on this way I can sell it you know um with a tag on so I have a lot of like cute baby doll dresses you can wear with that definitely over the winter season or um the fall when it starts to get cooler you can wear your leggings your um your tights and wear your skirts your dresses or wear your shorts now for the pièce de résistance which i know you've been waiting for if you are into pink a little bit i'm not really like a pink pink girl but you know i can appreciate the color here and there this is a pair of fun cowboy boots that really set everything off sis so many good details about it. It really reminded me of like a Moroccan tapestry, you know, like those Moroccan real rich um, rags. It's gorgeous. I love embroidery. If you've seen my style before, you know me and like patterns and prints and embroidery. And Case on point. You see? You see what I'm talking about? I love this stuff. So this pink is so vivid. Um, I believe I saw actually another pair of pink boots on the website, but I don't like that really pale pink I feel like it's not really um, It doesn't really complement my skin tone But sis, you see the difference? Oh my gosh, this will go with anybody Sis, this makes a statement This makes a statement I love the difference like I think rhinestones and studs the golden i mean the different colors the different stones we put on here the diamond i mean red blue green i mean this is gorgeous and it's literally just like another version same style yeah yeah same style and i love how they literally they go all out go big or go home go big or go home for sure this is such a statement piece such a statement piece everywhere you go people will be looking at your feet like wow i mean not wow in a bad way i mean for me <laughs> and for me i like it that's all that matters people will be asking you where you bought this sis. so for me it's beautiful and there's like a velcro even better i just found out about how you can remove this ankle part here <gasps> sis wait 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh wait let me check myself <gasps> i got myself a choker i got myself a choker in the deal <gasps> hold on yes it is a choker sis where else where else are you going to find out this hack where else wait a minute okay this cannot be removed okay let's not push it <laughs> i was looking at this one already <laughs> that's this i've never seen that on any video that you can actually use this part if you want to go a bit more simple that day you can wear this by itself and you got a choker in the deal <gasps> I don't think that the creators of this pair of boots even thought about it. Do you think they did? Okay, end of the video. We can shut it down now. Done. <laughs> yes, I'm so pleased. I'm all about utilizing the things that you have for different purposes. And this is so awesome. I love this. I love this even more. It's going to be on this table for a while, you know. The table of honor here the vip mvp table right here wow sis i did not know that so yeah you can go a bit more demure um without adding the ankle strap or you know this um, portion here and be just fine or you want to be extra that day 
you want to be very femme fatale you really want to show up you wear this so different versions i mean i'm just speechless at this point i'm just speechless i'm just speechless i need to make it short that i can post on youtube about this hack and also on instagram and tiktok i need to put it short sis if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for this is a type of fun the type of discoveries fashion wise that we have over here how to repurpose your things how to wear it multiple ways how to be creative with fashion so you can just pause this video right now just you know subscribe like this video leave a comment right now what do you think about this hack what do you think about this we found out together they need to pay me literally they, they need to pay me okay so that's all i have to say about this pair of shoes it's gorgeous it's such a statement piece loving this and i believe i styled it with a um a target was that from target i think so an h&m an h&m light pink dress that i bought years ago and so yeah this is my haul come back for some new hauls because yes it's a lot happening around here So much sis for watching this video i really hope that you have enjoyed all those new um finds of mine all those new purchases i love them and mind you there is plenty of hauls coming up there is some more um the zara sales haul that still are still shrinking in and coming in so i'm waiting for all of my orders to show up so i can finally do a haul and a styling video of course and i still have some thrift hauls that i haven't done and what else what else i have also like a styling video lookbook i need to do with my latest three finds because i found such great things recently if you have not seen my previous videos you know go check it out thank you so much for watching i hope that you subscribe to my channel and you like this video you share it and you come back thank you so much and stay blessed bye